Welcome or welcome back to Space Cowboy. Starfield has recently had an absolutely monumental update that has added loads and loads of cool stuff and is hopefully paving the way for much cooler things in the future such as land vehicles and of course the Shattered Space DLC. Now one of the main features of this update is custom difficulty settings. You can change absolutely everything and of course with those changes comes a surprisingly awesome effect and that is XP gains. You can absolutely mod the shite out of your game and settings, change everything, modify it to exactly how you want, and you can get a massive chunk of XP, or even an XP penalty if you want things to be really easy and straightforward. And today I'm going to show you the best three settings that you can use to gain the most amount of XP for certain playstyles. If that sounds good, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and stick around for much more Starfield content. We're going to be doing a deeper dive and looking at all the city map locations, because of course there are new city maps now, which is brilliant, and there's loads of other cool stuff as well, so stick around for that. So there we got 64 XP. Now that there was with absolutely no modifiers on at all. Now as you can see, we can change absolutely everything now. Combat damage, player damage, ship damage, player ship damage, weight for ammo, which that's going to cause a bit of a problem. Carry capacity, cargo access distance, credits, all of these things add an additional bit of XP onto your gains. Then if you set everything up to the maximum, you will get an additional 75% XP. Now, obviously, as you can see, there's little arrows here, and this is on the extreme difficulty. So certain ones you can move back down, and you will gain plus 2 XP for all the way up to the top. So you've got normal difficulty, hard, very hard, and then finally extreme. But you can also go the other way and make things easier, which will take away some of your XP. On things like your carry capacity, which... These ones hit a hell of a lot harder. The first initial minus that you get is 6%, and then it goes up to 8 And then that there was with the 75%, so we've we'll got 112 XP. So you can get a shite ton more for every single kill that you get if you want to go out XP farming and get as much stuff as you possibly can. Now this also works with the crafting XP farms, so if you do want to craft loads and loads and loads of stuff, then that is an easier way to do it as well. And if you are going for that 75% XP boost, you are much better off doing the crafting XP gains because obviously having that maximum difficulty, you use a hell of a lot more ammo. And if you're fighting things that can fight back, you're going to lose a hell of a lot more health. So you'll be using a lot of stims and a lot of ammunition. So it's not really worth the, uh, the, the loss in resources unless you're very very end game and you've got tons and tons and tons of resources now i don't know why you'd want to do this but if you really fancied it you can also take minus 35 percent xp um I, I i don't understand why you'd want to do that but it will make the game pretty damn easy because as you can see carry capacity is increased cargo you can access from anywhere so that's your ship cargo it's not limited to 250 you can access it anywhere at all Greatly increased vendor credits, which takes them roughly to around around 25,000 credits now, which is so much better than what it was beforehand. And then obviously medical healing, heal more, heal more, uh, food does more, sleep heals more, all of that stuff. I don't see why you'd want to go down in uh, in stats. It, it makes no sense. But there we, yeah, why not? Now, if you do want a relatively normal playthrough without too many things that are going to mess around with your gameplay style, if you just play it as a normal game without being super difficult or making things harder for yourself, this is judging how on I play pretty much and just play through the quests, enjoy looting, enjoy base building, and just playing it as a standard RPG game and enjoying it without it being too tough. Now, obviously, combat damage, player damage, and ship and player damage also, just leave them as normal. Uh, you don't get any XP gain, obviously. If you do like to play on a higher difficulty, then obviously switch it to the higher difficulty and you'll gain more XP. But adding weighted ammo and a reduced carry capacity don't really change too much, especially if you're not fast traveling, which I don't really do. Same as cargo access distance. I don't put anything in my cargo unless I'm on the ship, really. Um, and if you're selling things from it, I always take things out anyway, rather than accessing it from miles away. So it always works just to get a little bit extra there. Medical healing, food healing, normal, normal, normal. Sleep healing is none because, well, you've got enough meds to heal yourself, so it doesn't really change much and you get a good chunk of xp there anyway 
Now, having positive and negative sustenance can be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it does work. Um, it, it's it's quite cool. So obviously, food and drink grant positive effects and prevent negative effects. Pretty self-explanatory, really. But that extra XP, I've not. After a few hours of playing, it hasn't really impacted too much at all. Just make sure you eat and drink enough. And same with combat affliction gain. Left that on normal because the afflictions are very, very annoying. Can slow you down quite a bit. Once you've got them, you tend to end up having them anyway. So putting that affliction on prognosis as advanced gives you a decent chunk more XP. So just from the afflictions, that's 11% right there. If you want to increase the amount you get them, you can also get 15% extra XP just from those three items, which I think is a little bit pointless. Um, I find the afflictions annoying as is. So as long as I can cure them, I don't mind them. But the more you get them, obviously, the more credits you're going to have to spend on those specific healing items for the silly amount of afflictions that are in the game. Environmental damage and afflictions. Those will also give you an extra 8 XP because, obviously, as you're playing through the planets, you can get environmental damage, uh, which is normal. But, but if you've got it on the advanced setting, you do get injured a little bit more. But having the limited resting, that doesn't really change anything. You just have to sleep on a ship, outpost, or settlement. Which, I guarantee most people sleep on their ship anyway. So you're going to get that health back. It doesn't really matter. Now, obviously, you can change that to resting, so you can just wait or sleep anywhere as long as the location is breathable, and that will increase your health. Now, when it comes to vendor credits, that is a one that's really quite cool because you get a decent chunk of XP from it. So you get 4% extra, but if you take it all the way down, it takes off 4% as well. So I would leave that in reduced. So the vendors, they have literally a 1,000 credits. Pointless. But... It puts you up to 41% XP. And then if you go to a vendor, come into your settings and just change it back. All you've got to do is change the setting. And you can do that when you're off planet. So when you get on the planet, they'll have the 25k credits on them. If you do it whilst you're on planet, you do have to wait for the 48 hours or depending on what system you're on for their credits to reset to get the 25k. It will be beforehand on whatever setting you were on before. So if you just leave it as reduced, you'll get an extra chunk of XP there. Always quite helpful. Now, as with any XP farms, this works the same. Just farm anywhere and anywhere. As I've mentioned before, though, a lot of these ones will be a lot more beneficial to you if you're doing crafting XP gains. Uh, you can take the uh, the ship route and just go on, take it on ships. Obviously, you don't use any ammo there, and you will gain yourself an extra 12 XP because you can put your combat damage all the way up and leave your ship damage down low. So you can still take down ships relatively easily if you do struggle with that. And then when you get onto the actual ship itself, just before, switch the damages over. So you've got the player combat damage, then back down to normal, and the ship damage back up to extreme. Because obviously you're not fighting the ships anymore. So you still have the same amount of XP, but the combat experience will be a little quicker and easier. Now hopefully this has helped. If it has, you know what to do. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and stick around for much more content from Starfield. I'm buzzing about the future of this game after this update. I'm looking forward to seeing these vehicles. Obviously I'm going to do a video on that in the coming days as well. So if that sounds good, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and stick around for much more Space Cowboy.